This is Five on Your Side at Noon, focused on you. We begin at noon with breaking news. A 15-year-old suspect has been charged in the stabbing death of 14-year-old Justin Brooks. The suspect was arrested in Jefferson City last night at 8 p.m. Brooks died last Tuesday in an incident after school on Horde Avenue near Jennings Junior High School. Right now, that juvenile suspect is being held at St. Louis County Family Court on a murder charge. Good afternoon. Thanks for being here. I'm Kay Quinn. The arrest comes hours after a vigil was held for Brooks last night. Loved ones returned to the scene to remember and honor him. There's a makeshift memorial where the teenager lost his life. Brooks' mother says he loved sports and was a scholar. He was recently considering joining the robotics team. He's really smart in math and in science. He's just really, really smart. But he always did what I asked him. He always, yes ma'am, no ma'am. He's just very respectful. As the family plans his funeral, an online fundraiser is helping cover expenses. You can find a link for that fundraiser right now on KSDK.com. It's in the As Seen on TV section. New at noon, a man is in critical condition after being shot during a home invasion. It happened early this morning on Kathy Drive in Pontoon Beach. When officers arrived, they found the 28-year-old man shot several times. He was taken to a hospital. No arrests have been made. A barn, along with $50,000 worth of tractors, gone after a fire in the Metro East. It happened around 6.30 this morning on Hedge Road in Roxana. One firefighter suffered minor injuries and will be okay. The Roxana Fire Department says the high flames made the fire hard to get under control. The overall size and with all the sheet metal, typically it's hard to get uh, into the fire. Uh, this one was pretty large, so it burned through the sheet metal pretty quickly. We were able to get through it uh, through the sheet metal and also through the roof once it burned through. The owner of the barn says a greenhouse full of tomato plants nearby was destroyed. No word on what started that fire. The J.S. McDonald Bridge in Hazelwood is now closed to traffic. The busy span runs over Coldwater Creek. Over the next 10 months, crews will demolish the 73-year-old aging bridge and build a new one. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will also remove 6,000 truckloads of soil contaminated with radioactive waste left over from the building of the first atomic bomb. Once complete, the new bridge will feature two driving lanes in each direction. And turning our attention to the weather. Boy, what a nice day out there. Started out very cool, chilly. Again, not as cold as it was Monday and Tuesday morning, but definitely some 30s out there. It's going to be a chilly night tonight. Again, down near freezing, even around the metro. And then what we have right now is that sunshine, a few clouds mixing in. And that temperature is really pleasant. 55 in St. Louis. Humidity is really low. So here we go in that dry air again. 24% on that humidity. Dew points 19 and not as windy today. So north wind at about 10 miles an hour. We could see a few gusts to about 20. But those current temperatures look like this. From 57 at Cahokia Heights to about 55 in Washington. And the current wind speeds and directions. Again, only a gust up to 20 expected today. Uh, most of us below that throughout the afternoon. So mostly sunny about 57 today. A few areas may be a little bit warmer than that. And that sunrise uh, was at 704 this morning. So there's the front. It passed us through here, went through dry, but we do have a chance of rain in here. A much better chance really by Monday. Much more on that and main weather coming up in just a few minutes. Okay. We'll, we'll see you then. Thank you, Jim. The November election is now set for the 12th congressional district seat in Illinois. Republican Mike Bost beat out challenger and former state senator Darren Bailey. Bost has held the seat since 2015 and is looking for a sixth term. He'll be facing Democratic candidate Brian Roberts. The Carbondale attorney won over Preston Nelson. Our Megan Kernan has reaction from the 12th congressional district and the presidential race. President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump easily won their party's nomination in the Illinois primary. The other closely watched race was for the 12th Congressional District. Congressman Mike Bost beat out Darren Bailey. It was a close race with a definitive split, the west side of the district going to Bost and the east going to Bailey. Bost has held the Illinois 12th Congressional District seat since 2015 and has been in politics for decades. Even though Bost has not heard from him when he gave his victory speech, Darren Bailey conceded by the end of the evening. I want to make sure that this nation advances 
that we stop the fighting. We work together as Republicans. I'm, I'm a big believer in Ronald Reagan when he used to say, you know what, if you're 80% with me, you're my friend. Let's not give up. Let's start educating ourselves and finding out how our elected officials are voting, and let's hold them accountable because our children, our grandchildren, our nation, and our state, it depends on it. Across the river in Missouri, the upcoming primary election is on August 6th. The general municipal election is on April 2nd. Reporting in downtown Belleville, Megan Kernan, five on your side. Voter turnout was lower this year compared to previous election cycles. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, outlines how Bost survived the tight race with Bailey. Mike Bost escapes Tuesday night's election with a win, returning to Congress likely for a sixth consecutive term, but the turnout probably gave him a bit of a scare. Turnout was so low, but the map is what saved him. We told you before the election would end, this area was all of Mike Bost's old territory. And, well, you see there, about 65% of all the votes that were available ended up giving Mike Bost, I mean, the only surprise that you see in any of this is right here in Marion County. But look down here in Williamson County. Matt Gates, the Florida congressman, came here to rally with Darren Bailey. You might be able to say it backfired, kind of like Mike Bost said it would. 70% of the people there still voted for Mike Bost. Darren Bailey just didn't have enough. He didn't get over near Metro East, couldn't pull it off. There's a look at the turnout. Let's give you one more look at just how low the voter participation was overall. If we go to the totals here and go to the presidential election, this is 2024's results. Let's go to 2016 and look at St. Clair County. 28,000 votes just eight years ago when a presidential, and this is just the Republican side, 28,000 votes back then. If you go all the way back now, to the same county, look at that, just 6,000 votes. Terrible turnout. We've got to get more voters out to the polls to get more engaged, but there you see the results, a bit of a breakdown at how Mike Bost survived a challenge from Darren Bailey. You can find all of the results from yesterday's primary on ksdk.com slash elections. You can also text the word results to 314-425-5355, and we'll text you a link. Could more changes be coming to self-checkout lines? We verify whether stores will soon start charging customers to use the machines. And we are now less than 24 hours away from the official start of March Madness. Coming up, what you need to know if you want to place a bet. <laughs> 